So how is your software uh, difficult or what is lacking in the current software on the market now? Mm. Which push you to develop something? I think the main difference will be because these are done by physics professors as opposed to your vendor software. Vendor software, they are usually created based on the customer need. So if the vendor doesn't have the knowledge and the deep physics knowledge to create this, this, these simulations, they are unable to represent physics accurately. So therefore, we have some experiences uh, engaging vendors to do such work before and the experience was not satisfactory. Therefore, we have decided to create our own computer models based on the work of the open source physics uh, researchers work uh, so because the researchers have already made these computer models uh, accurately with physics uh, equation verified by the community so we are fortunate enough that we can look into the codes and then customize some of these simulations to better suit our own teaching and learning needs uh. for example what kind of for example what is lacking and what you improve on? Okay. For example, okay, there's there's one about the the gravity uh, simulation. So, because if, even in my energy award, I, I did argue that because if you look at what is available in the commercial world, most of the simulations are done with an idea to allow visualization. Whereas the professor's computer models are made with scientific data, okay, that not only just allow visualization, they also allow students to create fictitious planets, and then from there observe what, uh, what are the physics equations that govern this uh, new planet now. So there is a reason why when we look at the work of the open source physics community, we say that you know this is uh, exactly mimicking real physics, therefore we want to share this with our student, but we make it easy enough for the students to use, interpret the result, and if possible, change the computer model so that the students engage in a process we call modeling. So by changing a little bit of the codes inside the program, they are able to see what are the differences they have created, therefore we claim that they have learned uh, more deeply in this way rather than just by observing. So like engage them and like input input values and stuff like that like, so they Correct. can learn. Okay. Yeah. So um, based on your past teaching experience, what was the usual feedback from students that probably what kind of difficulty that they have understanding? That's why that, that prom prompted you to develop something like this. Mm. Or probably you can say what, what's like the... What's inadequate in the, the, the usual textbook and whiteboard kind of teaching methods? Okay, uh, one, one of the shortcomings of the, the way that we teach is we rely heavily on textbook and we know that textbook all can represent pictures and words fairly well but a lot of the physics phenomena in the world that we know are time dependent phenomena meaning we need to have an, a, bit, a mechanism for the students to observe how the physics principle changes with time. So this is something that you cannot do with using uh, stat con traditional modes of textbooks. Uh. And then another reason why we adopted the open source physics work was because they made all their curriculum free for anyone in the world to change. And with the sole aim to help educational system around the world, irregardless of whatever nationality, they, they make it purposefully clear that it is free for anyone to change and therefore re-releasing it back into the world to help all physics learners in, in, in the world that we know. So as, as you probably know by now, I mean, if I teach physics and then I join the teaching course, it's because we, we want to do good things, right? So if you want to do good things, why just limit your good to just that one class that you teach or three classes that you teach? Why not just put out all your content that you have developed and you deem it to be useful to give it to the rest of the world to use? Which is why we are, we are with the open source physics community. 
So what's your main aim in having this kind of new in this having this software? What's your so what are you guys uh, hoping to push for on this EduLab platform? Like probably you hope that more teachers will will take up this and Okay. Um the project was actually um the idea actually came from myself and Tat Leong. So uh, we got so, we, so he's in it, so one school is in already. So we enthusiast the other schools to come in. So actually there were only three. Then we after a conference sharing, we enthused another two to join us. Then recently I heard uh, Tat Leong got uh, Millennia Institute interested. Then we conducted a sharing on open source physics. Then uh, a teacher from Hwa Chong uh, also have developed some content. So we told him, why not you also join us? So formally, we have five schools. Okay? But uh, we are thinking that since we are at the end of this EduLab project, we have, we, our plan is to give it to all JCs. So why not involve them earlier on? So we told them, if we can, we get funding for, for them to join in officially. I mean, official letter and all that. If not, then we will just give pass the curriculum to them uh, even before the two years project is up.